Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in breaths, in and out breaths. Send your attention on the sensation of the breathing. Can the mind a place to settle in? And keep watch over the mind. Make sure it doesn't wander off. Keep it right here. If other thoughts do wander off, you don't have to go with them. You have to realize that your awareness is one thing, the thoughts are something else. And the thoughts that just come in on their own, you don't have to follow them. You're here to do something special with the mind. Try to get it concentrated, get it still, get it centered. Because the mind is wandering around all the time. And it's wandering around all over the world, all over the universe. We don't know how many lifetimes we've been through. And the Buddha said, you can assume that you see somebody who's really, really poor, miserable, on the side of the road, sick. You've been there. See something who's really wealthy, with lots of power, lots of possessions, lots of people throwing you around. You've been there, too. It doesn't last. That's the way it is with the world. So give the mind a place to stay inside. Look for a potential for happiness in here that's a lot more reliable. After all, that's what we believe when we said, say that the Buddha gained awakening. He found something inside that was really solid, something that doesn't change. It's because of that something solid we can look at the rest of the world and say, well, I've had enough of that. Because ordinarily the world doesn't have enough. It could rain gold coins, and we still have, wouldn't have enough for one person's desires. You get this and you want that, and then you want three times that, four times that. There was a case years back of a politician in town who was very wealthy, and everyone assumed that because he was wealthy he wouldn't be corrupt. But his idea of what counted as wealth and what counted as enough was a lot bigger than other people's. It's not just that one politician. You put anybody in a position where they can gain more wealth, and they'll probably take it. It's very rare that a person says no. That's because the person has something good inside that's more valuable. So we're trying to develop that something more valuable inside. We start with generosity. You can't buy generosity. It's a quality that you develop from within. The same with virtue. You can't buy virtue. You develop it within, or you're out of the desire not to cause any harm. You can't buy the meditation. No matter how much money you have, you can't get the mind to settle down. You can't pay somebody to meditate for you. So this is work you have to do from within. But as you do the work, the results more than repay all the effort that goes into it. So this is true inner wealth, a sense of well-being that comes from within. There was a time when the Buddha was out sleeping outside. It was the cold part of the year. And a wealthy young man came the next morning and asked him, Did you sleep well? And the Buddha said, Yes, I slept very well. And the young man said, How could you sleep well? The wind was cold. The trees have no leaves. And the Buddha said, Is it possible that someone could be really wealthy, have all kinds of pleasures, and still not be able to sleep well? And the man said, Yes. Because why? Because passion, aversion, and delusion consume the mind. But when these things don't consume the mind, then you can sleep well wherever you go. So it all comes down to training the mind. That's how true wealth is found, because well-being is something that's much more valuable than having possessions outside. So look inside. As for the world, well, the world is swept away. It does not endure as we chant again and again and again. But there's something inside that doesn't get swept away. It's something that does endure. And we want to find that. And the way to find it is to get the mind as still as you can. Because if the mind is not still, if it's running around, everything seems to be running around. But when the mind is really, really still, you can see things that are more and more still inside, more and more free of disturbance. And that's where true well-being is found. So keep your gaze focused inside. That's for anything that comes up that's not Genuine well-being will put it aside. You don't have to identify with it. Just because a thought comes into the mind doesn't mean you have to claim it as yours. It's the result of past karma, and you can just let it go, let it go. Make sure that you stay with this process of getting the mind really, really still. Because that's how it finds something special, because it becomes something special.